Today marks a week of Vlogmas, so I'm gonna do something a little bit different. If you hear that my voice is like a little bit like, uh, I think it's just because it is kind of going out soon. But today we're gonna try some treat boxes, some treat subscription boxes. Like now, you can get subscription boxes for pretty much anything. So right here we have two. I'm gonna be explaining them in terms of like service, what kind of options you can get and also like countries of origin that kind of thing because most of the appeal behind snack boxes is getting snacks that you can't usually get. This is from Try Treats and this is from Snack Boom and I'm going to do Snack Boom first. It's just because it's bigger and it's more exciting. So Snack Boom is actually a Singaporean company. They have a lot of snacks from Korea and I think they also have a physical store in Big box. It feels like there's a lot of stuff. If you get a one-time purchase, it's $29.90. If you get a subscription, it's $26.90. Because they're a Singapore company, everything is listed in SGD and you don't have to pay for shipping. Actually, I'm not so sure about that. I just know that like shipping is only available within Singapore and it's also exclusively for Korean snacks. So, uh, gonna, I actually haven't opened it yet. Oh my gosh! Wow! The instructions to make dough? Ooh, I am so shook. Look at this! <laughs> oh crap, something fell. I'm gonna give this to my friend because I don't know who this is, but I'm assuming it's a K-pop star. My best friend really loves BTS, which is why yesterday I made the uh, BTS reference. <laughs> oh, there's a lot of stuff. There's a drink too? Okay, let me let me get the oh shit white grape juice. I actually had this when I was in Korea and I really liked it. This is a pastry cracker. Oh, okay. That's actually a lot of stuff in here. Also potato chips. This reminds me of Skittles. This reminds me of goldfish. I realize there are a lot of things that are very similar to Western. I don't know if it's just me, but whenever I think of Korean snacks, I think of like the honey butter almonds, the honey butter chips, I think of uh, the yogurt thingy. Maybe like every month they really have a different one, and this month maybe the theme is Korean alternatives of like Western stuff. Because this one honestly looks like Lay's as well, you know what I mean? But who knows, I might enjoy it. I'm just saying lah, like what I'm seeing now. This is the original baked potato chips. The, ooh, okay, now we're talking. Um, this is like a jagabi, but like dipping chocolate. I don't know. Okay, what is this? Okay, this one is super interesting. Oh, yes, this is soft milk candy. I love soft candy and I also love like milk candy. Like that gelatin powder thing. <laughs> I love it so much. Okay. Ooh, ooh, ooh. This is premium whole almond candy. So it's almonds and then a little thing above. Ooh, grape gummies. I'm obsessed with grape gummies. Like I buy a lot of them from Daiso. It's not the best for you probably, but <laughs> I love it. And here are, they look like little rice puff balls. I think that's what they are. By the way, I'm trying this now. It's so good! I thought this was going to be a really light snack, but there is a salted peanut situated right in the middle. And I think it's almost like candied, so it's not like um, very hard to chew in. It's uh, huh? Every bite you eat, it's like honey crispies, but like, you know, with honey and it's light and it's airy and not particularly drying as well. And then right at the end, like you almost get like this candied sugar peanuts, but without the sugar on top. So it's just like a sweet, like peanutty taste. Oh my god, I love it so much. Yeah, so I just turned on the camera just to tell you guys that this is really fantastic. <laughs> Last but absolutely not least, this is pancake batter. You can make Korean pancakes with this. That's so cool. Oh, that's why they have this. Instructions on like how to make the dough and to shape it and to bake it. Ooh. Okay, I'm gonna try it. Now, this is honestly a very, very cool new thing that I don't really see in like boxes, you know what I mean? It does require some preparation, but honestly, I would much prefer it, you know, and something you can create and it's dry, so it makes sense for them to pack it in. Okay, so how many items are there here? One, four, eight. 
So 13 items in total inclusive of chips, a drink, a pancake making batter and a bunch of other candies and pastries. It's 20... Like okay, if I were to get it one time, it would be 29.90. Split it into 13, it's about maybe $3 or $2 per snack, like on the average. So I think it's a pretty good deal. If you're sharing this with your siblings, if you're sharing this with your partner, with your friends, then it's even better because then you get to decide like who gets what. So some people just have preferences. I really enjoy it. Um, the downsides, I don't know if you would consider it a downside, especially when I'm thinking about comparing it to Tri Treats, is that they only have Korean snacks. If you are the kind of person that just loves Korean snacks, that would buy and go out and look for Korean snacks, then this is perfect for you because it's really quite value for money, I think. It's really, really a lot. If you share with someone, then I think it makes sense because like in a month, like can you really finish all of it? Some people can. I just really, really like this entire concept. I like that there's a drink in it. I like that there's variety um, with the pastries, the candy, the snacks. Like it's all very varied. So I like it. Okay, now I'm moving on to try treats, and I've actually showed you guys um, try treats before. So this standard box is about fourteen dollars per month. It's thirteen ninety five, and for the premium box, which is twice the size of this, is twenty five ninety five. That would mean about ten plus snacks per month. You can choose which country you want them from. Either that, or they will always rotate it. I think if you want to get a one off kind of box, you can choose. If it's a subscription, they will usually rotate it, and that way you can try snacks from all over the world. And if that's what you're into, if you're more adventurous, if you are like a gourmet, kind of like learn cultures through food kind of person, like try treats would be really great for you. It is based in the US, so if you are based in the US, I think there's free shipping and uh, shipping does apply to Singapore. It's listed in USD, so it's a little bit more pricey. If you don't want as many snacks, this is probably like 15 bucks. I haven't opened this yet, so I'm just gonna like bust it open. Okay, there's a note here that says thank you for like trying the box. Okay, you're welcome. I freaking love snacks. So apparently I have a coupon code. It's Brenda Tan. I don't know how like much discount it doesn't say, but I mean, if you want, you might as well put it in, right? I should have probably taken it as a hint, but uh, there's a Brazilian flag right here. Ooh, okay, um, I think part of the fun of unboxing this Tri Treats box is that you don't, either you don't know what country or for me like you forget. Or like you just really don't know what snacks are gonna be in it. Ooh, Copa, Copa Cabana. Fifth largest country in the world by land, area, and population. Brazil is the only country in South America that does not speak Spanish and also the country with the largest Roman Catholic population and the world's largest exporter of coffee for more than 50 years. Fun facts! And there are more Brazilian facts and there's a freaking recipe. Oh my god! Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna look at it later. Just gonna open it. Alright, alright. What's inside your treat box? I'm not gonna look. Hey, hold on! It looks like there are 10 items in here, which means that this is a premium box. And I didn't know that, I'm sorry. The first thing I see is this. Oh, it feels weird. Osalgadino. Uh, as much as I don't want to, I'm gonna have to refer to this because I, I like just don't know how to pronounce anything. Torcida or Torchida, which means cheer party, is a reference to friends gathering to watch football matches. So apparently this is what you eat when you watch football games. So mm. I was also very excited to try this because this I just I couldn't figure out what this is. So I'm ready. Ooh, they look like little puffers. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> Okay, I know why these are so popular with um, football matches now. It's a little bit of like a chicken flavour. I don't know if I'm crazy or not. Just imagine like mommy, but instead of the noodles, it's, it's like a puff like this. Very light, very salty in a good way. And that's why I can imagine like watching a football match with this. Because I just feel like everyone will be wanting to drink beer like while eating this. This is a very good like bar snack. And I don't even like beer, but I feel like drinking beer <laughs> with this. This is good. Oh my god. Mmm! Next item in here. This is a Sanjo de Valsa. It's one of Brazil's best-selling bonbons because of its exciting taste. With irresistible cashew cream. A white chocolate bar. <laughs> this is called a talento, combined with a crunchy dolce de leche texture. The combination of soft white chocolate and dolce de leche is out of the ordinary. Cool! So it looks like this. This is a Salgadino Pimenta. It's a famous snack in Brazil. It's a salty 
salty deep fried snacks. I'm down for salty deep fried snacks. This is a snack that is ham flavored. Yeah, I guess they just look like this. I don't know what specifically. It looks like corn or, or, or grain or something. So as you can tell right now, like I have to refer to this to be able to understand like what I'm eating. Unless you just want to taste stuff and like guess by the languages. The next one is a choquito, which is a chocolate bar with a chewy fudge center and crunchy rice chips covered in milk chocolate. So this is just like a standard like chocolate bar. Next one is another bar. This is a banana da cremosa. This is a healthy snack made by overripe bananas. So this is that. This is a white chocolate bonbon. Combination of cashew nuts and white chocolate. Oh, okay, okay. I thought bonbons were like circular. I guess maybe they have like a, I don't know, I don't know. This is a Caribe. It's a successful blend of tropical flavor and the amazing combination of milk chocolate and a banana filling flavor. Final one is this. This looks like a biscuit. It's called the Passa Tempo. This is an extremely popular cookie in Brazil that consists of a cookie stuffed with milk chocolate filling. And that is the end of the box. So we are done. Let me count how many items. One, two, three, four, five, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So eleven items and that's because I counted a bonbon twice. So if you were to count the two bonbons as one, that would be ten. My review of it might be a little bit skewed. I think I may have chosen the wrong country because uh, it didn't occur to me that Brazil is a very big exporter of cocoa which means that a lot of these things will have chocolate inside and I don't know if you know me but I'm I'm generally not the biggest fan of chocolate. I do also notice that the snacks here are a bit smaller. Um, you could prefer it. I mean I don't know if size... Okay, <laughs> this is such an awkward thing to say but like size shouldn't really matter because when you think about it like these things it it's quite airy as well a lot of stuff in the tri treats box you get very small like bonbon size like bar size stuff and maybe that's why i thought it was five items because the box is so small i think for the price i would have preferred it to have more like bigger stuff i love the dry snacks i think within the dry snacks category these three are all very very interesting to me i can't wait to try them and they're all very distinctly different but when it comes to like the chocolate i feel like there's just a lot of bonbons maybe it's because because that's what Brazil is famous for but on the off chance that someone like me is receiving it who's not such a big fan of chocolate I'm like oh there's a lot of chocolate stuff in here but if you love chocolate this would be like the perfect box for you because I have had a couple of other tri treats boxes before I want to say that all of them are usually very well curated and they have a very good like background knowledge of like the country and the snacks and everything they do have the habit of throwing in very small kind of candy bits so that's my review I'm not gonna tell you like which which one I prefer or which one you should get because they're not mutually exclusive. Also, the experience of getting these two are very different. I think for Snack Boom, it's very like centric on, on snacking and eating. And for Try Treats, like while that's also part of the experience, the other experience is just learning about the country and just kind of seeing what they like and understanding more about someone's culture through food. It just depends on you which one you want, which one you like. You can also get like one-time boxes to see if you want. And uh, I don't know if I have a coupon code for Snack Boom, but I definitely do have one for Try treats so i hope you guys enjoyed this video so if you like this video if you want to see more snacky foodie stuff i would love to do that so please click the thumbs up let me know and also subscribe to my channel i'm doing vlogmas so videos every single day and uh we're one week in and everyone seems to be enjoying themselves i seem to be enjoying myself don't forget to also turn on your notifications because sometimes i may release it like slightly early if i make a mistake and i accidentally said it to public before <laughs> if you want to be the first ones to catch my videos do that and i I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye!